All right, guys, welcome along to the start of my let's play of the House of Da Vinci as kindly donated by Mika. And uh, yeah, for those of you that uh, have been around for a while, you'll know that I like the kind of point and click games like The Room and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing this. And uh, as Atom just said, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe, turn on all post notifications, tick that little bell. And if you haven't smashed the like button uh, hard enough and your monitor is still in one piece, then obviously you're not smashing it hard enough. Anyway, without further ado, let us um, put in a profile name and uh, a new profile was created. And uh, yeah, I probably should check the options for subtitles, but uh, let's jump in. Let's uh, jump in and start a brand new adventure. Florence, 1506. Oh boy. He's, uh, he's gone back in time. Click and drag the mouse to look around. Double click on the guard to get a closer look. I'm just going to see if there is any options for subtitles or anything. Uh, I'm guessing not. Oh, actually, we need to turn off uh, hints as well. I don't think we need hints. Uh, check that. I think just graphics. Nope, we're all good. All right. It looks like Henry the Eighth. We'll click on the scroll to focus on in his hand. Okay. Left click on the scroll to take it. I wonder who wrote this letter and what it is about. Can we have a look at it, maybe? Pull off the ribbon. And unwind the scroll. Letter from Leonardo. Dear friend, I am sending this message to you through a trustworthy messenger as events of recent days do not allow me to meet you personally. For a long time, I have been working on an extraordinary invention. It is so significant that if it goes beyond everything I created before. On the one hand, the machine fills me with pride, but I am also fearful lest, lest the invention f fall into the wrong hands. This is the reason why the entrances to my house were well secured. <laughs> For a ninja turtle. This is my plea to you, game entry to my library where you will learn more. In the mailbox you will find my new optical invention, which I have named the Oculi Infinit In Infinitum. I think that's what it says, Infinitum. I know you well and I am convinced that you are very gifted. I am sure you will discover how to use it. Alright. And uh, I know this place is an entrance to the master's house used by servants. Okay, mechanism must be a bell. It looks like the upper part can be turned. Okay. Uh, there we go. And do we maybe need to pull on something? Or is that maybe, maybe that's it for that bit? Ah. quite sure how I did that. I'm not really sure what I'm pulling on. Aha, we have a key of some description. A small metal object. And it's got a groove in the end of it. And it's also got like a weird sort of thing right there. Now we can probably open the mailbox, maybe. Oh, there is the other half of it, I guess. Okay, so how do we combine items? Okay, so we do literally just drag it on like that. 
and then slide it in place. Rotate it a little bit, and we have assembled the key. Key assembly complete. Look for a place to use the key. Well, there's a slot at the top here. And slide across. And must be the Oculi Infinitum Leonardo mentioned in his letter. Where can I test it? Click and drag up on the lens icon to use the Ocul Oculi Infinitum. Click the icon to deactivate it. Alright, so I'm guessing we need to rotate these all so their gaps are in the center. And uh, looks like we just made our way into what you looking at, boy. Oh, wow. Did our guard get crushed? Where did he go? He just disappeared. He dropped his staff and he ran away. Is that Batman? No, 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 no. Don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's Batman, isn't it? And. Wow. What just happened? At the. Badia Fiorentia? The rubble from the blast must have even hit the master's house. I hope he was not injured. Okay. In we go. Do have a bit of dust in my looks and some cobwebs around and about. Of course, Batman is 16th century. 16th century Batman. I think uh, Leonardo needs to turn on the lights. It's a little bit dark. All right, looks like we made it into the library. Oh, what a fine library it looks like. Master Library, where he seeks inspiration and gains knowledge. Surely I'll find some clues here as to what happened. Maybe we'll start with this scroll. And the scroll seal. You now find yourself in a library that, with its solid walls, protects this protect wisdom gathered here for centuries. I am being pursued by dangerous people, and if this is the only place where I am able to find peace and inspiration. This room also hides a passage to my workshop, which is known to no, known to no one besides myself. In order to discover the way into the workshop, you will have to use your astute mind. Astute mind. Somewhere in here, I have hidden another invention that will help you find your way further. Never forget the one fall that best allows people. Sorry, the one tool that best allows people to understand the world is accuracy, consistency, and precision of their observations. What's going on, crazy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. All right, so I wonder if this, like, this is some sort of hint. The one tool that allows people to understand the world is the accuracy, consistency, and precision of their observations. Okay. As I thought, the master was hinting something which might help me. I must keep my eyes open to... Uh, not sure I want it, but let's get um, let's get the notepad ready in case we need to do any uh, arts and crafts with knock on this. Excuse me. All right, so something here looks like we need to find a key for this. There is something clearly that's going to move here. There's various different slots on this. All right, so what else have we got? Let's have a look over here. Okay, so we need some sort of artifact to fit into there. We've got some latches here. And we need to put something on there to finish the flower.
interesting statue of a bust of himself. Okay, and we got another lock here. But there's plenty of things to find then in this room. Be able to proceed. There's a place here. This looks a bit out of place, if I'm honest. A to G. Is there a reason that that one is uh, in capitals in comparison to the others? Barbara Johnson, that's getting all in capitals. Who are all these people? These people that... Um, are these all people that like developers and stuff? Maybe not. Dr. Care doesn't sound like a, a developer name, does it? If there's something like hidden on one of these pages. can we see or find here is there anything going on like these side can I even only oh, get to the side panels here so nothing we can see there Oh, sorry guys, Arts and Crafts with Knock has been uh, officially cancelled right there, Death Wishes. He's called it. There is no Arts and Crafts with Knock. Right, what are these books then? H to M. I'll do that. Oh, hello. Hello. Achievement found. Printing press. Okay. Ah, never thought about doing that, did we? All right. So now let's let's go back a moment because clearly it's got a one on it. This is Loco. This is Loco. Down in Acapulco. Vatican Night. I wonder if like the ones in, I just wonder if like the capital letters ones are, are trying to tell me something. All right. Um, so we have this. So it's gonna fit on here, isn't it? here okay so it's a simple kind of like move the block to the right color kind of puzzle relatively straightforward what have we got here we got a glove
Aha. Okay, so something there. We can do something with. So I wonder if now that I have really say what that was, did it? So I wonder if now that I've now that I've done got this like glove here, do the books mean anything different to us now? Guess not. Let me tell you something about New Winners Eleven. It's not on Game PC a few weeks ago because I can if I want to be I want to because I'm in the Windows Insider program. I then found out it fully installed and installed all my files were there and everything. But when I started to play Port 2, it didn't run and said was stop and then said play, but didn't run. Luckily I rolled back to Windows 10 and all my files are there. Well the thing is, um it's because uh, it's it's only, you know, it's not fully released yet crazy so i would hold off if i was you for now like trying to um like run things like that all those sorts of things will get ironed out in time all right so an ivory inlaid box wonder what could be hidden inside i wonder what I'm a bit confused because it kind of didn't. Kind of didn't. Like, tell me that I'd done anything or anything like that, if that makes sense. Just sort of gave me that glove, and then that was pretty much it. I can't take anything back. Also, I can't interact with the sides. It's not giving me camera angles on this these sides. There is something here, though. Okay. Aha. We have a flower. Fine wooden ornament. Can I... I can't do anything with this, but I'm guessing it's going to sit somewhere, isn't it? Was there anything else there, actually? And a piece of wire. Can I put the flower on the wire? Okay. So we've got a couple of options here, maybe. So could we use the wire in here? Yes, we can. And that gives us the rest of the ornament. And then use over here. Ah, it's got to come in as an order to this. Yeah, ten's not going to go any. It won't go away any anytime soon. So it's a brass screw. Oh, there's anything else there now? Interestingly, will that get onto there? It will, and it is a square. It's got a square point on it. So where might we be able to use that, I wonder? Um, I 
Ah. I didn't screw it on. We got the wooden rose. I'm guessing then when there's like a plus icon like on the night on the side there, then that's telling us that there is um it, it's part of something. We need to find more pieces for that, I guess. All right, so okay. Okay, interesting puzzle. So we can't see the route until we're um that was very American, wasn't it? Route. I can't see the route. I uh, can't see the route until we're um Ah. Huh. Oh. It's interesting. This one we can actually move the pieces around. It's pretty neat. Don't need to move anything else there though, do we? We can just go straight across here. Yeah, it uh, certainly is crazy. Um, as I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm a big fan of like the room and like these point and click kind of puzzles. It's a circle which we can rotate. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, really kind of excited to be kind of playing this. Take it that way, send it up here. And then go across the side, I guess. So go down, across, rotate that to there. And then do that. Let me just escape up the top. I don't want. So I can't move them up, which is interesting. And once I move onto there, I also can't do that. So if we go across here and rotate and drag. Oh, I just said we can't do that, didn't I? Rotate that one round to there. Here, rotate and rotate. Then we can bring this one down. This one comes across. Rotate to there. And boom. There we go. I would say there's um, the the movement's not as like fluid. Oh, oh, I, I did a thing. The movement's not like as fluid and, and as like cons um, smooth as the room. I would say. Just feel uh, a little clunky in places, but it's it's fine. All right, so I'm guessing the key comes from over here. A richly ornamented seal. Which just happens to be an adjusted ornamental seal. 
I wonder where this is going to go. Sit down, crazy. Well, good evening, buddy. Okay, and then I guess we've got some like a light reflection puzzle. Yeah, like these little like movements here, these are the ones that are kind of a little bit um finicky. Alrighty then. It's pointing at a book. Is this the uh is this the entrance to the secret workshop? just need to place it elsewhere. We've got one, two, and three on that. No way to inspect this. Oh, there we go. As I say, there's no way to inspect this book. What have we here? I knew you could do it. The following lines are for your eyes only, which is why I hid them in the secret place. Our enemies pose more and more barriers to knowledge, wanting to know more than they are able to understand. You have proven you have an open mind and deserve to see which must remain to see that which remain which must remain invincible to eyes of others. Sorry, invisible. This font is uh, not great. I leave you with my last invention. I name it the Oculi Tem Tempus. It will allow you to look into the past and helps you search for the secret passages to passage to my workshop. Watch for the unusual, perceive the extraordinary, keep your mind awake, your eyes open. Probably why we couldn't use that before because uh, I'm finished. Uh, obviously, I found a useful device in this layer. Master calls it the Oculi Tempus. I must see how it works. Right, lens down. I should use this marvelous device. Look for unusual things. I can see something in the corner of the room. Try to retrace the geometric shape as accurately as you can. You're now seeing a short period of the past. You can shift the scene backwards and forwards in time. Look for clues that will help you move further. Okay. You get to look forward to the House of Inch 2 as well. Oh wow, that's pretty uh pretty neat. Oh Somebody's watching me. I ain't got no privacy. Whoa. <laughs> Kind of defeated the object a little bit, did it not? Somebody, the fact that somebody was watching me. Master Secret Workshop. I had no idea it was possible to get here from the library. And who was observing me from above? Welcome to the place where the ingenious combat machines for the Duke of Ro Romang Romagna were created. 
The catapult, the siege tower, machines that could effectively fight during an assault while providing protection for the soldiers and machine operators within. I wanted to meet you here, but some suspicious sounds warned me away. I have no choice. I must see for myself what it was. This place must be kept secret at all costs. Uh oh. Until I return, look around the workshop. I am most curious to hear or say about some of my works. Okay, do we get to uh get to play some catapult? Okay, what are they doing here? Okay, I guess we just gotta line these up to the correct colours. I think that guy is Okay, I'm guessing we need to find something there to crank that with. Put something down here. Doesn't look like we can interact with too much at the moment, but that's going to open something over there. There's not a lot we can do here. There's it's another potential interaction there. Right. Anything dodgy for me to see here? I guess not. I can't go over there. There's some bolts that are holding that in place. Didn't see that for a start. Doesn't look like I can interact with anything else, so maybe I am. I guess I am missing something then with this. Something else to do there as well. Oh, this guy's got something that I can maybe use. There we go, a wooden wheel. So. Let's go and put this down here. get a red rock. Let there be light. And there was. Step by step I'm reading the all the secrets places in Master's Workshop. Uh, wouldn't it just been a lot easier if he'd have installed a light switch? Small metal part. So let's just have a quick look at this. Clips on somewhere. I wonder if we can clip it on here somewhere. No. Gun sheep dog, have you well? Right, so we got weird bits and pieces going on here. Maybe light that.
not like I can do anything with the scroll though at the minute. In the desk there's a secure metal cover. This desk, there is a secret panel on the leaf. Thank you. We've got the unusual key. And we now have an adjusted unusual key. Now, that looks like it might fit over in the other area. This looks like it will open up as well. Okay, so that's... Ah, there's multiple rotations. That makes sense. Although... There we go. Rotate that. Rotate that. Is that not the shape we've got there? Oh, there's... okay. I guess that's not the shape we've got there. Okay, well, we've unlocked that anyway. I'm going to match this up somehow. pretty much to me if that rotated something inside all right well I should probably stop trying that because we're just trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different outcomes of course it's never gonna really work So does anything we got here then fit on here? That is negatory. So I'm guessing the idea here is we're actually going to rotate this, aren't we? I guess we're going to rotate this to, because uh, we can use it again, we'll rotate it to... turn in another direction so that we can light up like some more areas of the here so I think we do need to be like concentrating our efforts over here
Oh. Okay. There we go. Okay, uh, I've got a metal object in the shape of the sun. And I wonder if that connects to the back of this. There we go. The sun shaped key. Now it'll probably fit where I wanted it to put it before. Alright, we've opened up the sun. Okay. How does one rotate this, I wonder? Alright, so we've got to find here then combination. Don't think we're going to be able to brute force this. Let's try A A A A A. Sure, it'll work. A-A-A-A-A-A-B. <laughs> Alright, so we need to find then more information about this. So, where can we find some clues then? Not a moron. Well, 
we could use this. I wonder if this is meant to go in here and travel over to there or something. Oh, hold on a minute. Um, I was just thinking whether or not I could like move the. if I could have moved the or rotated the wheel in any way, shape or form there to I've kind of like thrown the fire at the thing but the whole point is of this I think is that I can then rotate this and get it to go where I want it to go afterwards so So, yeah, that's what I was thinking, Atom, but um, I can't rotate, can't rotate that at the moment, so. Uh, looked a little bit more closely. I think we just found our password. We got here. And death wishes that I didn't want uh, I didn't want anything. I didn't need my notepad. Cidus, Terra, Lapis, and Ignis. But looking at those positions, so we've got one, two, three, four. So I guess the, where these are positioned on here is going to relate to the two circles on the globe. So it's going to be the middle two. This one will be Terra. And then the other one will be Lapis. <laughs> Everyone loves a bit of arts and crafts.
<laughs> and then this one. Will be a Cidus, Cidus. And finally, Ignis at the bottom. It looks like we may have found a place for our key. find in the middle of this weird looking globe thing. Looks like it's a game of chess. Try to conquer the whole map of Europe. You can only move oh, sorry. Uh, you can only move between the countries linked with grooves. Remember, you can only conquer a country if your army is larger. You start in Sardinia with 31 soldiers. Okay. I've never played Risk. Okay, so if we start in Sardinia, we're going to conquer those larger. Um, we're going to want to go to the 29 because the uh, 31, 14 is 45, which means we want to be able to take that one. Uh, excuse me. Do I misread that? Only conquer a country if your army is larger. Okay, 45. Oh, hold on. Is that like... Thirty-eight, eighty-seven. All right. So now we've unlocked some more of Europe. Wooden tool with ornament. Okay. So we're sitting at 36. Are we done? Is, is that game over? Uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's what I thought, but... Okay, so let's have a look. So I've conquered all this. But I 
need to need to open up some more of the map. So how do I Alright, let's just go back a moment. I think we probably need to go need to do something else first. tower. I guess that will help us in our quest to um, do other things. So I guess we can put this where we just took that one from over here. Maybe. Okay. Okay, so... Success! Italy is yours. However, you now face a new challenge. The territories located to the north and east of Italy prove your strategic thinking and conquer those territories into your kingdom. Okay. I'm going to take the 20, obviously. And the 30, which gives us 54. Okay, so let's do this again. Take that one. Take that one. Take that one. One hundred and twenty-one. Then where do we go? We're extremely sure here, aren't we? Maybe take the northern. Northern Territories. All right. You are doing well, and you show and you show the abilities of a great commander. Go on to conquer the rest of Europe. Your goal is to reach Africa. It began in Africa. Car, 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 car. Alright, we're 175. Well, we can't take that one, but we might be able to. We take Scotland. No! I didn't do that. Okay, 221. Three seventy seven. Four oh no blend. And then to Northern Ireland, or Ireland in general. And now we can take that. That's what I, do. I don't understand, like, why the number goes down so much. Uh, 
Let's just reset that part. So Seventy-five, big Scotland. the number go down there? I don't understand that. Is it like the difference between the two? That just leaves me with nothing, so I can't finish. Lake Scotland at Yeah, as I, like I said, like when we first was in that library, one thing I would be critical about at the moment is like the 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 controls. They are very very finicky in places. Ninety. Four nineteen. I wonder if it's to do with like the amount of territories you have around. Why does that drop to seventy six? I don't. I don't understand why I've lost so much ground. There's a way to go back here as I like read the instructions again. No worries, Minka. We're uh, just trying to get to the bottom of this. That ain't good, the fact I've only got 13 soldiers left. I've got 221 now.
I've not got enough to attack these last two. Oh man. Marginally short. As we did that, and then we came across to here. Should be able to take Africa. Alright, well, I, I don't fully understand. I, I won't lie, I, I don't fully understand, like, how, how that worked. Oh, was that it? It was just like doing it in numerical order? Ha. Huh. It was that simple, eh? Alright, well I know where the shield goes. The shield is going to go on here. I think. Raved crank. Okay, so crank on here. So I wonder if this then all these goes yeah. Blue crystal. Nothing too special about that. Now.
Am I meant to be getting it here or in the middle? I guess time will tell, right? Yeah, I think I've got to put it in the middle. <laughs> Nothing's obvious, Death Wish, in my world. Luckily... Difficult puzzle to solve. If you attack the base with bigger defense, attract your army with the enemy army. Gain. At the base with bigger difference. Yeah, that's what I thought I was doing, though. That's why I was I was going for numbers which were. Like lower sort of thing, but then, as previously predicted. Should I just aim it to there? I don't really see any lanterns or anything there to light it up against. It's definitely something there though. I can see that light on the floor. Oh, I wonder if... Hold on. I wondered if... There isn't. I wonder if there was like a way to... Shut those doors to rotate it a little bit more. Is there a way to like align these two? Hmm. There must be a, like a clue or something how to align those two. The fact that they're like globes as well.
Where am I missing lights then? Or what do I need to aim this at? file cutter. Why didn't I click? I'm sure I clicked this before. When I killed Duke Borgia, I was amazed by both his both by his intelligence and his cruelty be known how weird been, and the cruelty be known be knew, he knew man this font is terrible he knew how to wield he could not perceive any obstacle to his ambition with the honors and with the honors and authority which be, he bestowed upon me i could have foreseen that our bond would be pretty good difficult to break it's a very difficult to break sorry i created him a mechanical toy built into the globe that perfectly represents his soul. It was meant to appease him and to help him free from his service. The Duke did finally grant me my release. But what I did not know at the time was that if it will not be so easy to leave someone else. What is that supposed to mean? This is right, some right classic knock here, I tell ya. We make short work of like the, uh, the more difficult, complicated stuff. And then when we come to something as easy as kind of and trivial as uh, turning on a light. We don't know how to do it. anything with this. Yeah, that'd be uh, pretty nice if as soon as you'd fired it, it um, kind of just dropped the next one in place. Honestly, don't see where like there's another light. I assume there was another light, like light up here, unless that's something over there. But like honestly, I can't see anywhere. 
and I'm like really like looking at the screen as you can tell. I wonder if I can like fire something over there and burn a rope or something. I'm also wondering if there's like um, there's something else I need to pick up because. Um There's, like I said, there's that slot on top of the, um, not on top, in front of the uh, catapult itself, which I haven't yet done anything with. I right, will just try one more, like just to fire it over to here. Sort of direction. If not, we're going to go and uh, explore a little bit more, see if we can find something else. There we go. That was a fire pit. What is Leonardo hidden under there, I wonder? Tetrahedron. It's nothing for me to Okay. I wouldn't call it brute forcing because I did genuinely I had made that observation okay, so I need to turn those that unlock oh there's stuff up here look okay we've got some Roman numerals Let's go get them in the right order and we can we can place them down there I guess. A disc with grooves. It's gonna help us to do this. So we can do this. Hexahedron.
Did I miss a pickup on something then? Is that what you're trying to sort of say? Oh my. Oh, okay. So how do I get the... I was about to say, how do I get the thing back? But I guess we don't. All right, disc with long groove. We have the same thing again here. Six thousand eight hundred and seventy eight. Three piece object with threaded rod. It's obviously twenty seven thousand something then. Obviously, it doesn't count because I've had my initial guess, but I'll say twenty-seven thousand one hundred and sixty-four. All right. What have we got here? Maker is still closer. Twenty-seven thousand three hundred and sixty. All right, we've only got one groove here, so we've got to be very careful as to what we do. Everything's got to come out this way. Actually, not necessarily. There is something else there that we can bring these out with. So. They have to point upwards. They have to point in the right direction. So this one has to go across from this side. Yeah, okay, so I see what's going to go on here. I'm going to have to do multiple rotations on some of these things, on some of these ones here. So, um, the one can't stay there at the moment. One's going to have to come all the way down so we can then rotate this one the required amount of times to put this up to here. So 
slide that one across. Get number four in. Like that. Oh, it's about a whole thousand off. Special geometric object has been acquired. Decahedron. I just remember that from when I was a kid. My brother had a uh, Doctor Who board game. It had like loads of weird shapes in it. I say weird shapes, but like loads of shapes in it which had like more than um, more than your kind of standard. Um. Normal sort of shapes you would know at like primary and second, like at primary school. Wrench with a crosshead. Geometric object. The octahedron. There we go. And here. Gonna drop out the bottom. Ram's head and a cog. Well, they don't combine, so to open that just yet. Engraved metal handle. Oh, well, I guess we're done with that now. Head back to this weird contraption over here. Use the cock somewhere. Ah. Uh. 
much more. I'm thinking we're going to burn the rope. No, it's not going to go far enough, so... That doesn't seem correct. I did. I went to a VR room the other week, Death Wish, like my first proper kind of VR experience. And I absolutely. This cog. Too many double right clicks. Trolls again, they're just like, I don't know, just really struggling for like the responsiveness of them at times. Quite sure what you want me to do with this. What am I missing with this? I still kind of feel like I need to burn that rope, but it doesn't look like it goes far enough.
do I do with the cog? mechanism there, I guess that's to open this gate up. Quite interesting, like that some of them shut and some of them don't. There's no mouse locking on this either. <laughs> Why would the gear on the rope make sense? That wouldn't make sense. Unless she was looking to... Unless we was looking to kind of use it to try and cut the rope or cut the string, whatever it is. do they need to be in? Opposites. Like that. is this we got the folding knife wasn't the interaction I thought I was going to have with that.
Wow, this puzzle isn't annoying. Jeez. Hexagon block. I think it's going to turn into a weight, and then we can put it on that other panel and open that other side. Looks like it's got like a hook on top of it. I like cut that bit, but I don't think I can. Right, that's not the answer. I guess I didn't uh, finish it off properly though. That's the answer. Good on Harazel. Harazel. Okay, I uh, didn't butcher your name too badly there. somewhere else maybe I could put this on here that do exactly I see how that benefits me oh Thoughts on the game so far, Mika. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I would say that I, I wouldn't say that the puzzles that that the puzzles are overly challenging, but um, certainly enjoying it at the moment. Oh, 
but I don't know if that's just because I've got like the experience with like the room VR. Alright, so I got my sight. Um, where am I aiming now? I don't know where I'm in. I would say that it would be really nice if I could actually like... Aim a wheelie. It'd be really nice though if I could actually like turn and move this while I was aiming. No, we can't. But it's just really tedious, like doing this, like aiming this thing. too high um oh wait a second maybe now all of the other thing has like dropped down I'm just wondering if, like, because that whole thing's dropped down. I need to look around again, I think, because, um... kind of becoming a bit of a, a brute force at the minute. That's not good. And that they don't ignite until they like you propel it across through the air.
don't think there's a marker to shoot at Atom, no. I'm also intrigued though as to why why did that move back when I slotted that into there it doesn't make sense Oh, maybe it's not so much about firing that. I just need to line that up with that. a little bit too far. There we go. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not weird at all. Another one of Leonardo's inventions allows him to project real images onto a linen, linen screen. So, am I right in thinking then that there was like uh, something over there? To indicate like shooting over there or?
So there was something on the moving globes, okay. Gotcha. Sorry, I was like mad concentration mode right there. The reading this letter, it means that circumstances did not allow me to come back to the workshop and that my concerns are confirmed. Great danger confronts not only my latest work, but the knowledge I've gained throughout my entire life. But you must continue. I beg you not to leave the way now. Follow the signs and tracks I've left for you. Everything just got a whole lot brighter. Uh-oh. 
done did a thing and I caused an earthquake. Spooky stuff. Very spooky indeed. All right, we're out into the uh, Master Leonardo's garden. He's a very cautious. This place is full of surprises. All righty then. Well, guys, it's probably a good place to leave it for tonight. I think. Um, We'll uh, pick this up again from the garden when we return to the house of Da Vinci tomorrow night. But thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate your support. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. And, uh, yeah, really enjoying this so far. It's so just a few little quirky things like the controls and things that are a little slightly bit um, off-putting. But um, we're getting there. And I just need to, you know, remember about my little special tools as well to uh, look around the environments a little bit more. But... I feel like I have really brute forced a lot. I kind of, I kind of called out like firing into the fire pit. I know I didn't obviously use and see it on the globes. I called out like something with the globes and the fire pit. So I just didn't put the two together. But I hope it is what it is. Anyway, guys, we'll be back tomorrow night with the second part of the House of Da Vinci. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Happy gaming.